Welcome back to Hard Burn Double Lore, or indeed, welcome to Hard Burn Double Lore, if this is your first time here. Uh, I'm going to show you how I built, or how I programmed the Pi Cow 2W with Rockrail, the WIO software. Uh, so, hopefully, I don't lose you. I'm going to show you as well how uh, the old case I made up for it as well. Uh, I won't show you the fusion side, there are plenty of programs out there showing fusion, but uh, it's relatively quite easy to program the chip uh, compared to the ESP32 for sure. So I'll take it to PC and we'll start getting things set up. So when you, you first plug it in there, uh, not to hold the button in, it just comes up fairly in the drive. Our E2350. Now, if we go to the wiki for Rock Rail, in the Rock Rail, you get your daily bills. Get in the bottom there, and in here, you've got the wiki, the WIO ones for ASP and PyCow. The PyCow 2W is different. You've got one for the USB, one for the over the air as well. I use the USB as I say. USB. So I've downloaded that to a folder, and it really is as hard as click on it, first you go to the file or the, the drive, drop it in, it'll load itself up. And once it's loaded, it'll restart itself and the drive disappears. So that's it, loaded into the software. Now we can open the rock rail up and do the rest of the program. Once you have that, just click on set and that'll be it set. Over here, you put the server name. Now, this server name is a server name for the computer, the laptop that you're using to run the rock rail on. Just click, click the automatic off, click set. That'll find the server itself. Over here next, we we'll change this from 33 because that's the default. Then we call this 165. The reason being, that's what it's called. Uh, on my layout, and I've also got the type to I2C IO16 set that. So that's that set up. Now, if you want to change these inputs and outputs, uh, you can do it down here. I think it's not very good to do it down here. I prefer going in here and set up, change them manually in here. I for input, O for output. B for pulse and B for block, basically. Uh, block is the same as it. When it pins up, push it in. And what we do, we us hold the outer corners first and then take it in. And you can see this board here is too short, I'm missing a pin. Very good solder is, uh, you get the Merg kits. I've been unable to find it outside Merg. Uh, I really should ask somebody to form Merg where the solder comes from. Uh, see, that's one of the best solders I've found on the market. So, so, so that's that. I'll let it cool down there. I'll, I'll take it back off. Hold the rest of the pins up there now. So this is the, the free Nov uh, breakout board. Uh, all you see is the difference between that and the ESP breakout board by the same company, free Nov. Uh, this one obviously has its own power supply, but this one doesn't have 
any power supply, but the difference between the ESP and the, the PiCow is quite, quite, quite significant, I think. As you can see down here, the numbers are you know, over the place where the, the PiCow, they've actually numbered it for zero all the way down to the last pin, which is pin 28 on this one here. Now, Rockrail being Rockrail, uh, pin address one is the pin one, address one is pin 10. Uh, I'll let you see that over on the wiki for Rockrail. So, pin 10 is address one, pin 11 is address two, and so on, all the way up and then back up here. Apart from pin 16, which is a GP3, I'll just need to check that as well. Pin 16 is GP3, so it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 15, then jumps back across to pin 16. The board has now been soldered. I'll just go and clean off the flux that now are using a bit of IPA. Wicket uh, for the rock rail itself, going manual. And here, click, click on WIO, and then we go down to the Pico 16. And scroll down the bottom here, down to the 16 IOs. Here we have it. So there we have it, folks, there. Pin 3 or GP10 as a port 1 or really address 1 it should be. So down for the 8 banks and you go to pin 9. Pin 9 there uh, is GP18 and it's an optional pull up resistor for all. So in other words you put a 10k resistor between the, for the pin and the 3.3 volts to keep it high all times. So Go back into the rock rail here. I've set up these three outputs and I'll just let you see the properties of one. So this one here and the interface side of it, I've set it up for node 65 WIO for the settings, address one, so in other words, that's pin 10. I've set the other ones, uh, pin 11 and pin 12. So I'll let you see them working. So I click on it, and up here, the GP10 lights up, that's set as an output. So if anything was on that pin there, that would change it. And then pin 11, and pin 12. So that was address 1, 2, 3. No port 1, 2, 3. You put it as address 1, 2, 3. This side here is uh, from Pin 18 is the. I've set up this board here to be uh, inputs. Now, you do set it to be an input, it goes high straight away, so you see it being high straight away. So, what I'll do, I'll just put a wire in pin 19. And what I'll do, I'll open up the, the sensor monitor on the, the rock rail. So here we go, we've got the pins going down there. It doesn't show pin 1 to 8 because they're set as outputs, but pin 9 is here. And what I'll do, I'll just make it a little high, I'll put it to ground. Pin next to the pin up pin there is ground, 1, 2, 3, up. Set the ground and up it comes on the, the sensor monitor, it states state 1. It's high. So, that's so what you see again there. It goes high, so it puts the input. Okay, so that's the program set up and it's been programmed in there. Now, for outputs there, you can use these things here, MOSFETs. Uh, quite important, means you, you put a bit of protection between the, the signal 
and the, the board uh, is used as a ten, a 10k resistor on this side as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed that folks, it's not that hard to set it up, uh, it's just a matter of clicking and dragging across to the, the board to program it, much much easier than this thing here, the ESP32 to program, uh, the rock rails pretty straightforward. I do like the free move board, the uh, breakout board, could have done with a power supply it, but there you are, I need to just keep it separate using things like this MOSFET. Keep the, the power supply separate for it. You certainly could run the three stepper motors or three servos using this at the same time and just drain the chip and blow. So please like, subscribe, uh, any comments, folks, leave a comment down below as well. Thanks for watching. Cheers.